What is up guys, Ben's Perez here. I wanted to talk to you guys about using an ultra wide monitor for music production. So the reason why I wanted to talk to you guys about this, it has vastly improved my productivity when it comes to music production and also when it comes to regular spreadsheets and, and work. In addition, I'm looking into becoming a stock trader and you know, with graphs and all the necessary websites you need to monitor, it's useful to have a screen as big as this. So I do a lot of research, I read a lot of reviews, and I also make sure that I get the best bang for my buck when it comes to purchasing you know, expensive electronics. Um, I mean, this can be the same case when it comes to uh, PC components, uh, but I wanted to make sure I got a good monitor because this is the thing that I'm going to be spending a lot of my time using, especially if I play a lot of games or I just work in front of the computer all day. In addition, it's good for music production and I want to tell you guys why. So in the past, I've owned two monitors, uh, one by Acer and one by Alienware, which I'm sure a lot of you, uh, you know, monitor enthusiasts have heard about. Uh, the, the Alienware actually has a higher refresh rate at 120 hertz uh, versus the uh, the Acer one I got. But I'm going to do a side by side comparison, tell you guys what's the best in the market, and also show you what the overall best value was. Hey guys, so I'm not going to bore you with the technical aspects of the monitors, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about the important um, specs that you need to look for if you're going to purchase a monitor just for music production. So as far as panel type, definitely choose between IPS or VA. Those are the two main ones that will have the best colors uh, and you can definitely find VA cheaper than, than IPS. So the next thing you guys want to look out for is refresh rate. Definitely get something that's greater than 100 hertz. Ever since I started using a 100 hertz panel, I definitely will not go back to a 60 hertz panel. This is the case for when it comes to production and productivity. So the last few things I wanted to point out is that some things are marketing gimmicks. For example, the response time, I really didn't see a difference between one millisecond and five milliseconds. And honestly, that's just for gamers. In addition, I definitely recommend getting something that has multiple USB ports so you can plug in any extra music peripherals that you need for your computer and microphones as well. So that's something to keep out for. Should I keep the sticker on? No? All right, fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna sell you guys on other specifics like G-Sync or any other you know, adaptive sync software because that's related to gamers. But if you wanted to game, make sure it has that adaptive sync technology. So I wanted to show you guys how I use a 21 by nine aspect ratio. Because you definitely get to use the extra screen real estate to use plugins or any other reference tracks that you need to put on the side. So let me show you a quick way of how I use an ultra wide. So for productivity or for emailing, I would have my email on the left side and then I would have, you know, my client database on the right side where I would just look for emails or anything, just send emails through here. And that would be easy because I would have two windows open instead of having to like minimize and then pull up my, my um, Outlook client. So that's one way I use, um, you know, ultra wide to my advantage. So for music production, here is my DAW. I have Ableton Live 9. So I would split it over here and then I would have music here to reference. So I'd be listening to music just to compare how it sounds while I have both windows open, which is the good thing. And then also I would also have an extra plugins, which I don't have installed because this is my new computer. So I would have this Ableton window like open two thirds of the way then I would have a plugin filling up this area right here. So this is gonna be helpful if you're trying to, you know, for example, have splice open and you wanna drag some instruments over to the Ableton uh, software. So that's one way it also makes it easy 
um, and then you can also minimize this and you can have this up here so you can have two plugins so another reason why an ultra wide monitor works is because for example in Ableton you have a stretched out session view so that you can see you can have a bigger perspective of the session view in addition I know I said I was going to compare two monitors but I will just leave you guys the links below and you guys can compare the technical aspects of these monitors but I decided to go with the Alienware monitor because it had a higher refresh rate for gaming and it also it had IPS it was an IPS display type you can use this monitor for video editing and also um, photo editing as well So there you have it guys, an in-depth review of using an ultra-wide monitor. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, please remember to subscribe, like the video, so I can provide more helpful music production tips and hardware reviews. Overall, I'd say I'm really satisfied with the purchase I have. I mean, even having the Acer monitor before, even having the Acer monitor before was a big step up. I'd, so I'd, I'd give it a thumbs up and my recommendation if you want to up your music production game or just any, you know, uh, split screen required work uh, in general. So again, this is Ben Perez. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you all have a nice day.